Hey everybody, I'm Butterfly Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we're going to learn how to make black salt. <laughs> and if you're new here, uh, welcome. So we're going to learn how to make black salt today, guys. Um, in this video, you're mainly just going to be seeing my hands and my arms working. That way you can get up close and personal, you know, kind of look on how to do this. Um, after the last video, I figured it was the easiest way to do this. Um, oh, and the Etsy store is up and running, so check it out, guys. Check it out. Um, all of those crystals that you see me unbox, they're definitely in the uh, Etsy store. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, let's get it. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. We are going. This is my workstation, you guys. Let's move my cell phone case over here. trying to get a good angle all right so you're going to need a cauldron you are going to need a thing of coarse sea salt you are going to need sage you are going to need Roux, and you are going to need rosemary, and you're going to need mugwort. Actually, these four um, herbs that I just listed, those are actually just extras. So, if you're wanting to add extra intention like I am, and my intention is psychic powers and protection. So, if you're wanting to add extra, you know, oomph to your black salt, I suggest you guys put this in here. So, you're going to need charcoal discs. We're going to use tongs this time. Um, and if you guys can remember correctly, when we made our own charcoal, we are going to use it too. And one extra ingredient that I'm adding, you can either add your old um, charcoal discs or you can add, whoops, you can add activated charcoal which you can get at, like, I got this at the Dollar Tree for a buck, so. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started. Gosh, I can't talk today, guys. I called my microwave my microwave in the last video. I don't know if you guys caught that, but, yeah. So, if y'all want a good laugh on Butterfly's Expense, Go ahead and check out the last video, the O-Star video. I definitely called my microwave a microwave. Alright, you guys. Let's get our tongs. And we are going to use our torch. And... We are just going to do it until one little spot, spot is red and see it will start taking over the rest by itself. We're going to throw that bad boy in our cauldron. There we go. Get it to where you guys can see me putting herbs on it. And we're going to let that guy go ahead and go until... Um, 
he starts to turn white. Another way of making him go a little faster is to go ahead and start hitting him again on top. Get him nice and red hot. You don't have to do this, but this is just what I do because I'm a very impatient person. That's something I need to learn is patience. Okay. If you notice when I blow on them, woo, I get ashes in my face from the last thing I put in there. But he'll turn bright red. Um, okay, you guys. He's ready. So first what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to dump some sage on him. You might want to open a window to get some ventilation in, but um, go ahead and let that burn up. And actually, another thing that I'm going to put into mine is some ashes that I have been collecting from some spells that I've done. So, I'm going to add that into mine. You don't have to do that, guys. Now, let's add our rosemary. And I spilled some down on the side, so we're going to go ahead and set it on fire, too, because you want everything to be burnt when it goes into the salt, guys. Wait for that to quit smoking. The next thing that we're going to put on is my favorite, mugwort. One, it's really cool to say, you know, mugwort. Reminds me of Muggle out of Harry Potter. But, um, and it's also really good for divination. So I'm going to put a whole mess of that on there because that is just my personal preference. Well, that didn't help much. And for the sake of hurrying this video up so you guys don't get bored, I am going to set that on fire as well. Okay, the last herb that we're going to be putting on there is rue, which is another really cool one to say. Rue is also very, very good for protection.
you pretty much just make sure you let these herbs burn fully. And if you get it on the sides, kind of like how I've done, just get a torch and torch that bad boy. Okay? It'll burn. Alright, and for the sake, because these things can go for two hours sometimes. So, what we are going to do is I'm going to let that burn out. And I've already got some that I've already done. Let me get a mortar and pestle. Which one do I want to use? Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Um, we are going to use this one, I think. And what I am going to put in this guy is, I am going to add, this is some sea salt from a um, previous spell that I did. So that's why that's going in there. Hold on, it's still got some herbs on it. We'll burn those. You want all of your herbs to be burnt before they go in. There's some of the herb uh, ashes. There's some charcoal ashes. Along with a piece of a candle. Don't need that in there. <laughs> All right, and we are just going to break this up. And it breaks up very nice. It's very easy to break up. It's not like trying to break up Himalayan black, uh, Himalayan pink salt or nothing. If you guys have ever tried to break up solid Himalayan pink salt, it is just horrible. It will break your hammer. You're going to add our salt to the mixture. And I probably put way too much in there, guys, okay? Because I did not realize how much uh, charcoal those couple tablets were going to yield. Let's go ahead and put some of these ashes in there, too. We're just going to stir it in here. We'll make it a little bit more dark by adding some of our homemade charcoal. If you've added charcoal, um, your old burnt charcoal things, then you won't have to add very many charcoal sticks. That's another reason why I like to add them. I like to add them. That's what we're going to be crushing. What we'll probably do is get some of the salt out of there for now. Put it in another one. I've got so many mortar and pestles, guys. Okay. Now, stir this up a little bit if you like. Mix it around. And then we're going to, because remember we added intention to our charcoal that we made ourselves. So that's why we want to add this. 
plus it gives it another element of earth to it, you know? You just crush it until you can no longer see a stick form. What do you think, guys? Does that look pretty good? Let's stir it up and see. I think that looks pretty good. It's pretty dark. What do you guys think? Is it pretty? And that, you guys, is how you make black salt. Alright, I hope you guys can see my face. <laughs> I can't tell because the camera's pointed the other way around. But that is the video on how to make black salt. Once again, check out my Etsy store. It is now open and it's got a whole bunch of really cool spells, crystals, um, candles. Everything is either homemade or a crystal. So I hope you guys like it. Um, all right, you guys, I hope you really like this video. Next one, I promise, will be on how to cast a circle. I did not do that tonight because it is actually a long, drawn-out process. So, thanks, guys. Until next time, love and light, blessed be.